All right, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. Welcome back to the challenge run. So today we've got ourselves a five skull defend base going. Um, I need money. I need money for financial report. I need money to build mechs. But at the same time, I mean, five skull missions and up, there's always going to be good tech, so... It kind of hurts to go for just money. But... I mean, how much is this? 500,000. Half a million sea bills per priority pick. Um... You know what? It's planetary government. Unless they randomly drop a uh, clan mech for no apparent reason. Unless they drop a clan mech for no apparent reason. This is fine. Uh, put Ronin back on the Hetzer. Put... Witness on the Maxim, and Corsair on the LRM hover tank. Alright. Then we've got Loki and his Kingfisher, Magpie and her Gauntlet, Dead Shane and his Orion, and Exodus and his Juanita. And let us begin. Alright, so five skull to fin base on a lunar planet. Or a lunar environment. Initiated. Wait, this isn't lunar. Why did it show lunar? Huh. Okay. So defend allies as they make their way in. Looks like the enemies might be there. So yeah, it indeed looks like the Vanguard is here. So our randomized deployment zone is on top of the enemies. Which is interesting. Um, do we want to go for high ground? Uh, I mean, high ground is good ground. But at the same time, where are the enemy reinforcements going to spawn? Probably over here and over here. So if we drop on this high ground, there's no way we get to the reinforcements. So that high ground's out of the uh, out of you know not not an option. If we drop on this high ground, we can engage the vanguard and then potentially reinforcements here. But if there's reinforcements over here, we'd have to go all the way around to get to them. Meanwhile, if we drop in the valley, we can fight the vanguard, fight these reinforcements, but not so much these. So, it kind of... <sighs> kind of no matter where we drop, we're limited on how much we can fight the uh, the support, the, the reinforcements. Also, our mechs are relatively short range and not the fastest. Well, except the Winita. Hetzer, hover tank, hover tank, hover tank, and let's go. Enemy contact. Ooh. This place isn't so bad. A right? bunch of Vitals. So lovely. <clears throat> now I really regret not going for more salvage. I would have loved to have gotten some Vitol parts. And we're starting the game. We're starting the match, starting the battle, with Loki getting hit. You got nothing, you so, uh, alright. Alright. So Loki is injured. From our allies. Next turn I'll be able to get into the, e uh, the destination. 
What kind of injury does Loki have? Also, he only has... Oh no, he has four health. Okay. He... Has an accuracy penalty. Amazing. You. The Juanita does not have night vision. Go. Okay. So we know they're like all right Hello. here. So planes been getting visual on everyone. Uh, what do we take down first? Looks like that was a rocket bullfinch. So he's spent. Uh, looks like it was a rocket serrano. So he's spent. That's a lot of missiles and the warthog. Oh boy. Warthogs usually have some pretty big ballistic or energy weapons in addition to some bombs and things. So I think our first priority is the Ifrit. However, is going to have a lot of AMS. Yeah. Yeah. Our missiles are going to struggle to touch him. Can lambs melee beetles? No, it does not look like it. So I know regular mechs obviously can't melee a VTOL. I mean, yeah. They're just gonna get intercepted by AMS, but it's whatever. Yeah, all the AMS in the world. Target missed. What can I do for you? Same thing with Maxim. Maxim could only get five evasion here. Oh, there we go, six. Pedal to the metal. AMS for days. Well, at least he's tagged. I hear ya. At least there's that. Double time. Gauntlet, also on the Ifrit. Missiles to the front, even though they're just going to get intercepted. Oh no, some of them actually got through. Good to go. Did one of the AMS's jam or something? Is, it, is that what's going on here? Alright. Wait, we could probably go SRM. Yeah. Firing. And that's a VTOL down. Enemy vehicle Ammo explosion. Commander? I'm here. 24.8 versus 24.8. 27.5. Ooh. If the headser hits this, I'm going to be incredibly. Ooh, 52, even better. Affirmative. Was that a hit? Yes, that was a yes, hit. Commander. All right, that's that's actually quite a bit of work. The heads are putting in quite a bit of work. All right. Let's see if we can take the warthog down now. Reporting. As you wish. And you know what? Considering he's injured, I'll take those hit chances. Alright. Oh boy, the Warhog has Harjal too. Well, <laughs> I meant Harjal as well, but yes, he has Harjal too. Ow. Mm hmm. Out yeah, warthogs, warthogs have some pretty good damage on them. Took a heavy hit there. Good armor, good damage. Warthogs are scary. Moving to position. Gauntlet running a little hot. Firing on 
Alright, there's a warthog down. Okay. So all we have left is two VTOLs that already dropped their payloads. Awaiting orders. Rockets and rockets. Uh yeah, Loki just uh which one has more armor? Neither of them. Sure. Alright. Reporting. One ready for orders. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah. This this Vanguard was Affirmative. Very front loaded. After they dropped their rockets, they really had no business sticking around. But, I mean, they did successfully injure Loki and, uh, do some pretty good damage, really. <laughs> Both the arms at half. Yeah, the Kingfisher took a beating. Let's go. Alright, so let's get back to the base so that we can respond whichever direction the reinforcements show up in. Going full throttle. All right, all right, all right. Ready for orders. Also, considering it's a nighttime mission, our hit chances have actually been surprisingly good. Standing by. And that heads her hit onto Let's the go. side of the uh, warthog. That definitely helped. Yes, commander. As you wish. Coordinates received. Copy that. Aye, aye. Roger. Okay, getting our hover tanks towards the base. Yeah, this is actually going very smoothly. Heads up, come All right. You've got hostile Enemy reinforcements you. on the high ground there. Oh, and on the high ground the other side. Okay. Not, not happy to see that. We are in the valley, and they are all around us. So I misremembered where the reinforcements drop. I would have been definitely much better on the high ground. Okay, it looks like there were streaks or something that didn't fire. Alicorn Mark VI. Okay. That sounds scary. On the bright side, they are entirely focusing our allies, so at least there's that. How are we going to do this? Like... Ow, ow, ow. Yep. We are in a valley. They have high ground. They have high ground all around us. There's a hull under two, an archer, heavy metal, and a strider. Standing by. Um. So the Vulture Mark IV, I believe, is going to be Clan XL engine. As compared to Vulture Mark IIs that have the XL. So I can't just destroy a side torso there. Um. Hollander 2, Strider, Archer, Heavy Metal. The Hollander 2, I think, is what has the Rack 2, I believe that was. And I'll, of course, trying to go to the base, all of my fast movers are out of position. So that's great.
You know what? I think this might be a jump. But then I'm then I'm definitely overheating. Maybe a jump like that. Okay, vigilance. Okay, the lamb hard point apparently takes no heat. And it missed anyway. Okay. So my plan is next round melee him in the back and see if I can kill the vulture with one melee hit. Ow. Okay. I'm losing weapon system. What's up, boss? There goes the gauntlet's laser arm. And yeah, this this is a problem. They have high ground and there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, let's move. I guess at least I'm able to shoot at something. Let's see if we can kill the imp. Oh, the imp still has spawn protection. You know what? Whatever. Fire open. Pew. Head hit on the vulture from a stray shot. Take it. Okay, we got some lerms. Good to go. Probably the archer. Archers do tend to have a lot of lerms. So if we go all the way over here, we can go up the high ground. Okay. Goss Rifle, Norse Storm. Oof. Affirmative. I think move. Vigilance. Start work on the... Start work on the Alicorn. At least it's not very, you know, maneuverable. Get the Orion up here to hopefully soak a little bit of fire. Alright. Okay, he's panicked. Good. That increases our hit chance against him. Ow. Lined up for stray shots. Beautiful. Now that was a heavy hit. The imp is really hot. And the heavy metal going for our ally. That's a relief. Reporting. Kingfisher. Move for one. Of course. Can't go vigilance. Not enough. Okay. Mistakes were made. Still not down. I hear you. Okay, his front is actually almost down. So if we can take out the Alicorn, that's one target off the field and three Gauss Rifles gone. Here's hoping. Structure exposed. LRM Plainsman. I should just have kept shooting him from the side. But it's whatever. 32. Come on. Still not down. I'm here. Wow. 
Okay, Hetzer, can you get direct line of sight? Yes, you can. Right there. 40%. Sounds good. Animus. Okay. Okay, at least the Alicorn's down. Again, that's three Gauss rifles off the board. That's good. Okay. Enemy turn. Arwanita has... Mm. The Vulture Mark IV has initiative on Arwanita by one. Commander? Okay, Gauntlet. Leg is open. Again, I think the plan is pull back with the Gauntlet. Like, yes, the right flank has a lot of, like, PPCs. I mean, not PPCs, LRMs. Um, a lot of LRMs, and so they can engage at long range fairly accurately, but... Ready for order. Do I do this and have no evasion, or do I wait? I think I wait. I wait for the imp to go. I wait for the imp to go. Actually... I need to switch ammo types on the AMS. Okay. Is the imp the higher priority here? Like, surely it's the vulture, right? But then I can shoot the vulture with everyone else. Stop doing stuff, let me look. So happy to see them focusing my allies instead of my uh, instead of my gauntlet. Okay. Vulture has a lot of weapons and 1040 armor. The imp has 1560 armor, but almost all energy and he runs you, hot. So, yeah, no. There's no way I can get enough people in the Hollander's side, right? Ready for orders. But the Hollander should go down pretty easily. And that is one really big weapon. Like I said, probably a Rack 2, Heavy Rack 2. Rack 10, actually. Pirate Rack 10. That's why it was... Okay. That needs to go. That needs to go. We have a priority target. And the heads are soaking fire as always. Beautiful. Awaiting orders. Roger. Full speed. I don't want the pirate Rack 10 to fire ever again. <laughs> that thing tore up the gauntlet. <clears throat> Excuse me there. Waiting for orders. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If this hits, acknowledged. AC20 Kaliyama versus Hollander. If it hits. Target locked. Yeah, that's beautiful. What's up, boss? If we take down that side torso, we literally don't have to care about the Hollander anymore. Nope, not enough. I think I hit something good, Commander. Oh, boy. I really am committing everything oh, to trying to take this Hollander's arm off. Or side torso off. Making the shot. Okay. So there is the Only Pirate Rack 10 one. down. I can now completely ignore the Hollander. You. 
I do have enough for Vigilance. Which will help me... Possibly be able to act before everyone else messes me up. Engage And a kill. Not a kill. Taken a critical hit. That's unfortunate. Is that is very unfortunate. How close was I? I have no idea. Now what? So there's no point in continuing to fire on the Hollander. There's no chance that I take out this entire lance as well as this entire lance. So I think I focused fire on the... Oh boy. I... I actually cannot get a line of sight on the imp. I can get obstructed. All right, well. That would be out of range of like, just the SRM-6, okay. And on this. Oh, jeez, okay. Okay. I'm just kind of trying to trying to think if I can draw fire. The Strider should go down pretty easily. And that is weapons Got off the it. board. Max speed, no shooting. Flip that back to times three since it is not open. Okay. You idiots. Please, no. That, that PPC shot, stray shot to my Juanitas. Oof. Okay, it just went to the arm. Everything's fine. I mean, yeah, it's unfortunate we lost some armor on the arm there. Oof. And the vulture gets to act before our Winita. But it's okay. They're going for our ally. Standing by. And I think I'm actually gonna go for another melee. I'm really sacrificing my defenses here. But Well there's no but. I just I'm trying to kill the vulture. Still no kill. Pharaoh the Miller, I would have loved to have gotten that. Okay. And the problem with doing all this damage to the back of the vulture is I can't follow up on it with anyone. Minor damage, Commander. I just, I, I'm so happy they're ignoring my Juanita. So happy. Yeah, we need some, like, melee gear for the Wait Juanita. For I think I am going to try to put the retractable blade in it. I think I am going to fall back with the gauntlet, right, Commander. break line of sight to the other guys, and shoot at the imp. Here we go. What can I do for you? I cannot get in the heavy metals back. And the archer has a decent amount of metal to grind through. Let's see. By. Let's see what we can do. Oh, 
Okay, Heavy Metal actually doesn't have as many weapons as I thought they did. Ah, that's why the Gauss Rifle was jammed. Yes, Commander. Yeah, I think I just start shooting the Heavy Metal. Um... That would not be TSM on, I don't think. I understand. Orders? Although, actually, I still have the imp. Yeah. Oh, this is the LRM. Please get distracted by my planesmen. Do not shoot that Goss rifle into my other people. Standing by. <sighs> okay. I'm starting to split my fire. That's a mistake. I should just focus one lance or the other. And I think I should focus the lance... Uh, I think I should focus the lance... Copy that. ...above me... ...on this side. I think I should take the imp down. I'm receiving you. Confirmed. All weapons are good. Nice. Ready to get it on. Confirmed. Yeah, if I focus the imp, if I take him down, the Juanita might be able to clean up the rest. Please stop shooting the vulture. I'm about to kill him. Shoot the imp, please. I hear ya. Fools. Uh. Yeah, just like obstructed line of sight for days. All right. Pedal to the metal. Kind of lining up for straight shots with the Orion. Not smart. Not smart at all. Roger that. Firing on target. Almost a knockdown. Are you serious, dude? Allies. Losing armor. Please stop. Also, for those of you who wonder why I'm so against. That's an entire Vulture Mark IV. But for those of you who are wondering why I'm so against trying melee mechs on this challenge run, that's another example of why. Stray shots. So many stray shots. Our Juanita is unsteady. Almost knocked down from stray shots. Keep in mind, the enemies have not shot the Juanita a single time. This is just stray shots. Good to go. Oof. Yeah. Again, keeping way. line of sight broken. Right, Commander. I mean, if that's what she can do, that's what she can do. It's a knockdown, though. Imp should not get another turn. Ow. Yep. Mm-hmm. Took a heart. This heat is cooked. Ready for orders. Uh 
jump. That should be generating a lot of heat, shouldn't it? Confirm. In any case, jump, vigilance, try to kill. Not a kill. Also, not as much heat as I thought we were going to get. That's a shutdown archer. Interesting. Yeah, I really expected that jump to generate more heat. Our Indo TSM is not even on. Waiting for orders. Okay. Um. <sighs> Turn seven. I think I'm gonna wait for the LRM planesman to try to finish off the M. Awaiting order. Kingfisher is gonna reserve. Good to go. The Orion is going to cannot get direct line of sight to the archer. How unfortunate. Oh wait, 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 wait. There. No shooting, just running. Alright. Hello shutdown archer. Firing. All right, he's unsteady. Heavy metal shooting our ally. Yes, Love commander. to see it. The Hetzer. Obstructed line of sight for days. That's fine. If it hits head, even with the obstructed line of sight damage penalty, that will be enough to kill. Or it'll just completely miss. That works too. I missed. Reporting. Standing by. All right. LRM planesman. ERPPC destroyed, some double heat sinks destroyed. We have the Maxim left, we have the other Plainsman left. Does Loki not have Cautious? He does have Cautious. Did I just not reserve him yet? Waiting on you, Commander. Anyway. So, direct line of sight, please. Alright. Fair enough. Coordinates received. Fair enough. Right, Commander. Alright, engine destroyed. Beautiful. Should have run when you had the Yes, Commander. Plainsman. Unobstructed line of sight to the archer. Cannot be found. So, side shot on the heavy metal it is. Because if I remember correctly, no. No, that was not him. Okay. Alright, whatever. We only have to hold out for three more rounds. Also, the Strider has just... left. Yes, Commander. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm gonna leave. Uh, dropping some mediums. 
in favor of the medium pulse. Okay, so each one of these is 24 damage. Each one of these is 20. So I have to have five medium lasers off, or two medium pulse lasers and two lasers. Yeah, definitely gonna go with the hit chance then. And firing. Hey, our allies not shooting us for once. Beautiful. Oh no, I only went for one salvage, didn't I? I only went for one salvage and there's a vulture mark four on the board. Oof. Yeah, that's planetary government for you. You never know what they're gonna drop. I should just go all salvage all the time. I don't I shouldn't care about financial reports. We can sell them scrap. Like we're we're literally buying medium lasers from the store. We are going to always get value out of picks. And then selling the random salvage. Punch, go. Okay. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. And the gallant what? Had two hundred and fifty five armor plates in the back. Well then. Alright, Gauntlet coming back out now that most of the enemies are off the board. Shooting the archer, I think. Structure exposed on the archer. Gallant shooting the kingfisher from the back. Alright. What can I do for you? Um, can I get a back shot on way over here? That's only LRMs, right? No, that is actually everything. Uh, hopefully I don't stray shot the Winita, but yeah. Panicked, that's good. Yep. Oh. Commander, I'm hit. I guess better the heads are than a mech. Awaiting orders. I wonder if they ever are able to get the blood stains out of the heads or like seats. Ever. Because I swear every mission we drop it, somebody gets injured. Right there. Not that one, these. Yeah, just like that. Firing. Waiting for orders. Um, the archer is open on the left side. Can I get a left flank attack? can, but it's obstructed. Uh, 
or I can just shoot him from the front. Let's see, obstructed from the open side, I think, is better than unobstructed from the front. Oh, that's also a clan archer. Mm-hmm. Target taking a critical. Got something you want done? Planetary government, man. Sometimes they drop absolute garbage, and sometimes they actually drop like the best stuff in the game. I'm already there. And continuing to shoot the heavy metal from the same side. Waiting for orders. Oh boy, okay. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. All weapons are go. Why would you shoot the Hollander with no weapons? Alright, allies doing work on the Strider. At least we're like guaranteed to win at this point. And with all target buildings surviving, our whatever, however many million sea bills we went for is, uh, is going to be increased by a pretty significant percentage. So we are going to have plenty of money to build all the things. That's Clan Lerms. Lots of missiles. Got it. And just trying to take the archer down. Get some more clan tech on the board. But this is the last round. Don't think the Juanita is going to be able to finish that off. Yes, Commander. And I can't think of anything else that would be able to get into the. Yeah, especially now that it turned. Nothing's going to be able to get in the rear. Alright. Position confirmed. Again, focusing the archer. Firing all weapons. Beautiful. More clan tech on the board. Target neutralized. Orders. I'm just going to stand and shoot this, actually. I think I hit something. I hear ya! I really, really don't want him focusing my mechs. In other news, the Maxim is way out of position. Kingfisher is actually going to reserve Exodus. Is going to kick this dude in the back. And hopefully get a kill. Ah, it went side. Okay. Yes, Commander. Oh well. Yeah, reserving. I know I'm unsteady, so I have no evasion, but Beautiful. Took the bait. Minimal damage on that hit. Commander. Out. 
Alright. And can we take down the heavy metal side torso? Not if we don't hit it. You know, honestly, there's a bunch of clan tech on the board. There's some good VTOLs on the board. Reporting. Would the heavy metal just clutter the loot table? I think it would. So, you know, I'm just going to move and brace. There we go. Mission successful. <sighs> okay. Alright. Good news. 3.4 million sea bills. Lost a couple medium lasers. Other than that, I think everything's good. Uh, obviously, Ronin is injured. Only 10 days. Nice. Not bad for a vehicle exploding around you. Bad news. There is... There's an entire imp. But more importantly, there's an entire Vulture Mark IV. Hmm. I mean... Ghost Rifle North Storm, AoE. Alright. Clan Indo. Clan XL Engine. Gunnery A and B. XL Gyro. Double heat sinks. Do I need double heat sinks to build out executioner? You know what? I'm I'm taking the vulture part. If we get really lucky, no, not at all. <laughs> Uh, but hey, we got one part of a Vulture 4. And we got the XL Gyro. That's that's honestly probably what I would have picked if I wasn't just grabbing the Archer. Armored Cal. Okay. Alright. Alright, so 303,000 C bills for repairs. And we are finally a We already have Gamma Pod under. Wow, so we have three and a half million C bills. Hey, and we do not need it for the Gamma upgrade. Also, Tex is back in six days. Amazing. I forget, is the King Crab just repairing or is it actually ready to fight? I do not recall. But I think I am just going to take the time. That's 3, 6, 13, 21, 26, 27. Do I take 27 days? Come in. Okay, so we got this four and a half skull capture base. I can do that with a partial lance, I think. Who would I need? Nice to see you down here in the hole. Uh, how long is Loki? Ten days. Okay, so let's take ten days. Oh, Kingfisher is gonna take eight. Okay. But I really want to get the Executioner and the King Crab online. Hmm.
This is a tough one. Now, I think until I get... Until I can get... Gauntlet taking seven days... So let's see. It's 8, 9, 10, 11. So in 11 days, we have a good bit of stuff done. That work order is complete, boss. And we can Top get another up. upgrade, so let's get another mech bay. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. And yeah, we still have 2.2 .2 million. Beautiful. Two, one, zero, one. Mmm. Mmm. I really do not have a million C bills. And I also really don't have 500,000 C bills. You know what? Don't vandalize my mechs. Minus three tech points. Alright, it's fine. One day. Okay. So we should be good now. Okay, so here... Yeah, we should have gone for more priority picks on the, the defend base and less on the capture base. Is that step right there? We are paying a million C bills for one priority pick right there. This should have been our money mission. Oh! The Orion and Gauntlet have problems. That's right, they're, the Gauntlet lost an arm. The Gauntlet lost an arm. And got crit out. So I got two tons. I have 15 heat. Two tons, fifteen heat. <sighs> Two tons, fifteen heat, nothing to put on it. I mean, I guess I could just slap two more medium lasers on again. SRM2 streak and a half bin of ammo. Nah, just two medium lasers again. Alright. 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 And then the Orion. What's up with the Orion? This is the Orion that got wrecked. Yeah. This is the Orion that got wrecked. We still need to rebuild it. Okay, the other Orion's already ready. Do I prioritize the King Crab or the Executioner? Actually, for now, I think I prioritize getting the Orion back online. We still don't have Gauss ammo.
<laughs> Do we have rack 10 ammo? No. And we lost the SRM counter missile, so we don't care about that anymore. Let's let's also make this a long range mech. But with what? I would definitely like to have more AMS on board. Dropping the LRM-5. Oh wait, we do still have the SRM counter missile. We'll think about it. Uh, we no longer have the LB-5. But we can drop in... Ammo. We need to put the narc on something quick. So we can get in close. So we have AMS and AMS ammo. I'm looking at that Streak Killer in 15 and it's looking pretty good. So that's eight shots per bin of ammo, but it only fires if they're all gonna hit. And Clan Pharaoh has case built in. However, I believe we actually have case two. Where is it? Am I blind? There it is. Case two clan. Streak LRM ammo. So that's eight shots that are going to hit. So case two reduces the explosion from internal uh, from ammo explosion to five points, which means we can slam all the ammo into our side torso, which is beautiful. And then <laughs> we have the heat for it. We actually have the heat for it. Do we have enough? for a large laser as well. If we replace the gyro defense with the gyro XL we just got, we do. That's an MRM-40. Oh, uh, we don't have ammo. So, no. No large laser. I guess bring the gyro defense back. Ammo. MRM. Ooh, we got choices. Tandem MRM? So that's going to be three shots of tandem. Three shots of tandem, and that's five shots. So that's eight shots. This would make it ten and a half shots.
So that's 80, if all 40 missiles hit, that's 80 internal damage. That's so good. So that's three shots, three shots of tandem. This would make it four and a half. Alternatively, I could go streak 15 ATMs. Because now we have 30 shots of ER, which is three and a third alpha strikes. And 60 shots of regular ATM, which is... Six and a... Six and two thirds, so... Uh, yeah, that's like roughly 10 rounds for just the ATM. And the ATM is incredibly accurate. It's longer range. Hmm. Am I fine with just eight shots of MRM? And eight shots of streak LRM. Like that's really the thing that's problematic to me. Is that we have such limited ammunition and as soon as we run out of ammo, we're too slow to get in and punch anything. So we're just standing there. I think I'd rather put the missiles on the Kingfisher, maybe? Although... If we do go streak LRM with two bins of ammo, we're never going to run out of, of am streak LRM ammo. Ever. That's 16 hits because it's a streak launcher. So we will never run out of ammo. which makes it less bad if we run out of ATM ammo. And that leaves us the tonnage available to go large laser, large laser. No, it doesn't. Large laser, ER medium laser. Hmm. Yeah. I would really love to, instead of trying to do all this shenaniganry with the missile weapons. I'd really let, rather just have one big, uh, like, autocannon, rack, Gauss rifle, something, and then follow it up with some support weapons. I 
mean, the ATM 9 and the Streak 15, they go really well together. Neither one of them has a minimum range. The ATM with ER ammo has the same max range, roughly, as the Streak 15. They're both super accurate weapons. Especially with the fire control flak. So, they both have evasion ignore built in. So this is already a two evasion ignore without taking the pilot into consideration. Three evasion ignore with the anti-air targeting quirk without taking the mech warrior into consideration. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Super accurate. And that means the lasers also have two evasion ignore. And then I think I put the MRM-40 on just a raw damage build. On, on just a volume of fire raw damage mech. And leave this as a super accurate. Because it's, it's only heavy so it doesn't have the the, the capacity to have the full volume of fire experience. Advanced AMS for a little bit of defense for the Lance. I mean, the argument could be made for dropping the advanced AMS and having another large laser. But... Uh, I mean, the ER medium laser is good enough range. Is it though? Is it though? Wait a second. We have a chainsaw. That's going on the VTOL. We're gonna see how that works. Um. There's a bombast laser. Do we go Bombast? I think we go Bombast. So, at long range, it does comparable damage to the large laser. Once we get into medium laser range, once we get into medium laser range, it's doing large laser and almost medium laser combined damage. And then once we get into short range, it's doing double large laser damage. That's good. And we have a full shield side. Unless we want to drop a little bit of armor. Drop a little bit of armor and put the medium laser back. So I believe the damage mode increases the heat generation. So I would want to test it before I add more heat to it. Then again, it's as easy as just not firing the lar or the medium laser. Because it's going to be a medium laser, right? We don't have the tonnage for anything else. Like the old SRM-2 counter missile doesn't work because we have both of our missile hard points taken. How much does the Excel Gyro save us again? Two point two five tons. So then we have three tons available. What do we do with three tons? Alternatively, we could go with the Dreadnought Gyro Double Upper Hardened. Also, Advanced Optics Mark 1 is not enough anymore. But yeah, we don't have we don't have Mark Two, Mark Three. 
Enhanced imaging, I would rather put on whichever mech we also put the defensive stuff, the dreadnought and the hardened on. Because I do not want to have to punch out the mech that has enhanced imaging and I don't want armor to get shredded through. At least not easily. Actually, is this just ER medium laser heat sink? No, we got two tons left. What do we do with two more tons? What do we do with two more tons? Legitimate question. Alternatively, what's the biggest engine core we have? 380. 360 is 5.7. 380 is also 5.7, so what about 340? 340 is 4-7. So here's, here's my thoughts. I know, I know, I just spent all this time building. So that gives it slightly more maneuverability, right? Wait. That's only one hex on sprint. So no, you know what? No. We, we are going to stick with what we were doing. It works. It's a solid build. I stand by it. So we just need to figure out what to do with two tons. And I think... I mean, sure, emergency coolant system. In case we get hit with heat damage. That way our ammo doesn't cook off. Sure. And then... Oh, that's not even... That doesn't even take tonnage, really? Huh. I thought that took a ton. Okay then. A mask? Hold on a second. Four tons, I know, I know. Four tons, I know. But what's the point? We have so much long range now. That doesn't make any sense. Um... Do we just go Warfare Suite instead of watch Watchdog and put the Watchdog on somebody else? Sure. And that opens us up for another half bin of AMS ammo which I will actually put there. That's build. I actually think that's a pretty good build. We don't have any high explosive ATM ammo, so this is the most effective it's gonna be, just as a high accuracy missile weapon. So we've got four times nine, that's 36, I believe. Then that's 96. And then that's up to 80, so up to 176. 
200, yeah, it's 200 damage alpha strike, starting at long range with a warfare suite, moving in closer. That's perfect. Sadly, the warfare suite does mean this isn't much of a shield side anymore, but we would still definitely rather lose the right side than the left side. 100%. So let's do that. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. The lamb. We are slowly transitioning this thing into a full melee mech. So, uh, equipment. Uh, I thought I saw a weapon. Is it under weapons? It is. Okay, so it is a... Three point five ton melee weapon. Let's see, twenty percent critical hit chance. That's good. Base damage is point two per ton. So one ten. Okay. Deals twenty five damage. So that makes it one thirty five, I believe. I think that works. I think we actually dropped the hard point here because the high explosive bombs leave something to be desired. I think that's the play. And the chainsword doesn't generate any heat. So we'll give that a shot. I. Like, the lamb is definitely super mobile. Super maneuverable. Alright. Juanita. Alright, so one day, and those will be ready. Again, I think once the executioner's done, I'm gonna shift the Kingfisher's laser weapons over to the executioner and load it up with missiles. Like the MRM-40. I think that's the play. In any case, we need to progress one day. Alright. And now next episode, we will drop on the Batchel Klondike to capture the base. Going primarily for money with two priority picks. And hopefully we don't regret that as well. In any case, that has been your episode of Rogue Tech for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one.